Welcome back. It's uh, Saturday morning if you've been following uh, the videos we've been putting out. So we're doing the Saturday morning 2024 Declare the Good News Convention. And uh, we yeah. now encourage you to watch and listen quietly to the music video presentation, which begins by showing how Jesus has been depicted in our publications and videos over the years. Please enjoy the video. Okay, so I'll just let it run in the background. So yeah, the uh, everything on this G this Jesus convention, I, I kind of skimmed through the uh, last couple of days here, and it's all about Jesus. It's stuff that that all of us already know about Jesus. We were taught this throughout all those years, but I guess they have a lot of new people in the organization. And if you have new ones in, then they have to kind of teach them about Jesus. And now with their new movie studio, they can throw this all together, um, make it look very professional. And uh, so what I see happening here is um, a big focus on Jesus. Maybe this is part of, in the world, they're not looked at as Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, the word Jehovah, a people for Jehovah's name, <laughs> it's kind of muddied a bit. If you plug Jehovah into the internet, it's not a good thing. But if you plug uh, the truth about Jesus, you know, uh, well, they, we used to talk about the truth about Jehovah. And it was all about Jehovah's name, and that's what made us different from all the other religions. Well, now here they're, they're going to talk about the truth about Jesus. And it's all the same old, same old. Everyone knows all the stories about Jesus. But there's some major twists in the Jesus story and in the Jehovah's Witness religion. I never seen it clearly when I was in, but it's with the Magi. They've demonized the star. We covered that on some of the last videos. In fact, on our Bible discussions last Sunday, we broke that apart. And uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bible stories and they missed some pieces. Uh, they missed the star. They missed the angels singing to the shepherds when Jesus was born. They didn't put that in any other story, but yet it's in the Bible and they could have easily put it in here. Why did they miss it? You see, Jesus' birth was the biggest birthday party on earth. It was. It was so big that God sent the angels down from the heavens. However that works, the sky opened up and these angels started to sing. And I don't think they were singing the same Jesus song that J.W. Org pumps out. <laughs> I think it was something a little different, something more angelic. And the shepherds, they were frightened at first. They were frightened. And then the uh, angels talked to them and said, hey, look, God's son's born right there where the star is shining down a light. And J.W. Org shows that. They show the star shining the light, but yet they still hang on to the point that they, they believe, and there's no scriptural support at all, but they believe that the star is from Satan. So as you can see in the uh, video behind me, we haven't been play, uh, doing a lot of the audio. It's just all a bunch of their singing. I'll put the audio on for a bit here, see what it's, see what it's about. And, uh, a lot of times it's just just all their music they play this when they start their assemblies we can uh, speed it up now when i speed it up let's go to the beginning right here we now encourage you to watch and listen quietly to the music video presentation. That's two times. Which begins by showing how Jesus has been depicted in our publications and videos over the years. Please enjoy the video. Yeah, so. Anyways, uh, it's all about the field ministry. Uh, the little kids are going out in the field ministry. But yet nowhere in the Bible does it say children go out in the field ministry. Nowhere in the Bible is that found. It's the apostles, the older men the skilled ones that go out and uh, do the preaching. Um, so, and then they focus on the disasters. You know, I'm just focusing ahead here. All the way through the assembly, 
it's blended in. They focus on the disasters, JW org lineups, uh, houses you know burnt down, and uh, th this is a way of uh, programming people and showing that this th these things are going to happen. And yeah, disasters have been around since the beginning of time. And how do we combat disasters? Well, you tell me. If you've been in a disaster, how have you been helped? You know, if you're a Jehovah's Witness or ex-Jehovah's Witness watching. Um, as a Jehovah's Witness, there's not a lot they do. If, if, if you lose everything, hopefully you have insurance, some insurance. JW Org is not building you a new house unless you have insurance. If you didn't have insurance, uh, as far as I know, you're kind of out, out in the street. Now, JW Org will come in and build up their kingdom halls and fix them up because I think they're self-insured. I, I don't think they pay for insurance. They're self-insured. So they use the people to build, to self-insure. You see, it's cheap self-insurance. Big corporations, they self-insure. It's too expensive to buy insurance. Uh, that's why some of these lawsuits in, in the uh, CSA, Montana, and that, you know, they're hitting 35 million, these lawsuits. So um, they're not insured. They're, they're going to have to pay it out, sell kingdom halls, whatever. But they're right in through this assembly. They want to show people that you, you're right from all, you know, you're just giving people a warm and fuzzy. So now they're finally going to sing this song. They do that at every assembly, and then this guy's going to talk about something. What's he talking about? Welcome back to our Declare the Good News Convention. I'm sure you enjoyed yesterday's sessions. How exciting it was to see the first segment of our feature drama, The Good News According to Jesus. What was your favorite scene? Was it going inside the Holy of the Temple where the aged priest now, Zechariah I know offered incense to God? Playing or seeing the angel Gabriel will tell Zechariah doesn't that his barren wife Elizabeth would give birth to a boy named John? Remember the doubt that Zechariah expressed? And how that cost him the loss of his speech until after the child was born? So Kenneth Cook is just, they're, they're just doing the same old, same old. These are Jesus stories about how Jesus is born. If you were brand new coming in and you knew nothing about Jesus, uh, then this is all brand new to you. And uh, it might be interesting, some of this. All the religions will pitch this a little bit different. But these stories are in the Bible. Uh, an angel appeared to Elizabeth, and that's John the Baptist's mother. And uh, there was a whole story there, and it's all related to Jesus, Jesus and John the Baptist. So it's all in the Bible. They're just building movies. It's exciting when they put movies to this. So we got actors. Here's a, a sister. She'll have to, I, I should get off the screen here. You're missing part of it. But anyways, this uh, sister that's doing the acting and this brother that's the angel, they'll have to keep these guys in the, around for a bit because they're going to have to play that part for a bit. Then Kenneth Cook gets on and talks a little bit more, and they uh, show some more Jesus scenes. Okay, what's this one about? A decree went out from Caesar Augustus for all the inhabited earth to be registered. Uh -huh. This first registration took place when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Go, it's going a little fast for some of you guys, maybe. So this is the decree Herod to just... What was it? Herod? King Herod, they, they sent, they had to go and do a census, so they all had to go to, what, Bethlehem? Is that how they got there? Something like that. So, it's the same and old Jesus the story. To... I'm just going to pause, silence it. So they're going to the census. There's a Joseph. I don't think uh, he's a good Joseph, but it's the guy they picked. Okay, so uh, we go through, then the angels appear. And talk to these guys. I don't think that's in the Bible. I think they add, added this. Day, you got to be careful. Some of this stuff they add in. There was born to you in David's city a Savior who is Christ, the Lord. And this is a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. There you go. Suddenly. There was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly army, praising God. Glory in the highest above to God, and on earth, peace among men of goodwill. And a lot of this is ad lib. 
JW org, uh, they'll put their own story in there a little bit. But it's, uh, you know, when we look at religions, most religions out there, you got the Mormons, you got JW org, you got Seventh day Adventists, you got the Catholics. You're going to see similar stories in all the stories because they're using the same, a similar Bible. JW org probably has the most twisted Bible, most changed Bible that I've ever seen. Uh, but uh, especially the latest one. The, the old 1984 wasn't bad, but the latest one has a lot of changes. But here we go. We just have stories, just Bible stories, actors. They're uh, killing time through the assembly, through these conventions with a lot of their movie productions. And uh, this is new. Uh, when I was going to the assemblies, it was more and more lectures. People get up there and you go to sleep. I'd nod off a lot. You'd nod off. But, you know, a movie like this, you're not going to, you're not going to nod off as much. Uh, it's a movie, right? Everyone's captured by the movie and they, and they, and they can change a lot of the words and they add words in and they put Jehovah in there when Jehovah's not supposed to be in the New Testament. Uh, I'm still looking for their big finding on where they think Jehovah's name should be in there, but it's not. So here's another guy, uh, we could listen to him, but uh, this will drag this whole thing on too far. So this one, I want to I wanna look at this one. They're going to talk about the Magi again. We covered that in the last video. I'm going to turn the sound. In that very hour, she came near. Okay, Magi, where are you? And began giving thanks to God. Okay, I'll get off the screen. And speaking about the child to all who were waiting for Jerusalem's deliverance. So that's Elizabeth, John the Baptist, I guess. There's Joseph. I find these dramas, a lot of music. I find that they have a lot of people just walking around. They're just Dem JW Orgs is playing, they, they dramatize a the heck out of these things. They're so slow. And I think that's a brainwashing mechanism. Now, here's the Magi. Let's see what they say. After Jesus had been born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, look, astrologers from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is the one born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when we were in the east, and we have come to do obeisance to him. At hearing this, King Herod was agitated. Now I could speed this up a bit, but and all Jerusalem with him. On gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is how it has been written through the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem of the land of Judah, are by no means the most insignificant city among the governors of Judah. For out of you will come a governing one who will shepherd my people Israel. I, I don't know if that's even in the Bible. I don't think any of that stuff's in there quite honest. They they threw a lot of extra in there. Speed and it's slow. Slow as molasses. Just a big drama, slow drama. I'm speeding it up, doubling it. Double speed right now. Let's speed the hell out of this thing. Then Herod secretly summoned the astrologers and carefully ascertained from them the time of the stars appearing. When sending them to Bethlehem, he said Go. Make a careful search for the young child. And when you have found him, report back to me, so that I too may go and do obeisance to him. They make the uh, Magi there look evil. 
they make him look kind of. They, you know, let's see how they After pitch they get to the king, I'll, I'll they slow it away. down for you. And look, the star they had seen when they were in the east went ahead of them. Until it came to a stop. Above where the young child was. On seeing the star, they rejoiced with great joy. Now Jesus is in a house, not in a manger anymore. Notice they knocked on the door, the house. <laughs> Uh, how old is he? Two years old, maybe? I forget, JW Org, that's what they figured. One of their magazines. Magi at the door, let's see what happens. I thought we watched this already. thought we broke this apart. And when they went into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and falling down, they did obeisance to him. So of course these are all actors, all JWs, all in their studio. Uh, probably some pasted on beards. That guy looks they Joseph also looks opened like their treasures beard. And presented him with gifts. Gold. Gold. And frankincense. I should get off the screen if you want to see it. And myrrh. However, because they were given divine warning in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. One, two, three, four camels? Four After camels. they had departed. Look. Jehovah's angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up. Take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt and stay there. See, now they had I enough money. They had the gold. For Herod. So He's that's why the magi, the, young child. the gifts are like uh, to kill him. This is scary. Scary. So that's why the magi's gifts were so important. The gold. They now have the money, the means to travel. They were poor. You know, they 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 just had a stable to for baby Jesus to be born into. That's how we poor they were. So, uh, you tell me, uh, the Magi had a purpose in this whole thing. They're not to be demonized. The star, why would you demonize the star? That was in our last video we talked about that. Uh, they explained that. Now he's going to use this gold. So Joseph got in. up, and by night, took and along the young child and the child's mother. And they fled to Egypt. And went into Egypt. And now they'll have enough money to buy a house, because that's what they did in Egypt. And they the lived there. They lived this in Egypt. fulfilled what was spoken by Jehovah through his prophet. Until Herod died. Saying, Out so, of Egypt, I called my son. More drama. Then Herod. A lot of drama. Seeing that he had been outwitted by the astrologers, flew into a great rage. No! No! That's a GW actor. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the governing body helpers? That's how they get after they lose a CSA case. And he sent out and had all the boys in Bethlehem and in all its districts killed from two years of age and under. 
according to the time that he had carefully ascertained from the astrologers. Well, what part did you get in the drama? Well, I got king here, and I had to put my foot down and do all the killing. Imagine that for an acting part. Oh. Why would they even need to show this? Like, that's... To show that... To show that at an assembly with little babies and children, that's just... Then horrid. was fulfilled what was spoken through you Jeremiah to, the prophet. You know. Who anyways, said... Anyways. They could use a different way of showing that. So of here he goes. He's going to... Moreover. Egypt. Being given divine warning in a dream, he withdrew into the territory of Galilee. And then they went home after Herod died. Raised baby Jesus, the then they lost him because he was at the to. temple. And then they found him. That gives light to It's just a Jesus story. That's all it is. That's, those songs trigger a lot of us. Triggers me, I hate them. Anyways, uh, that's it for uh, Saturday uh, morning. That's the, first, that's the first talk, Saturday morning. So I had the um, ch chipmunks up because I was going to make it sound like the chipmunks, but I think maybe I'll do that in the next one. Okay, well, we'll move on to uh, the next video. Okay, well, welcome to the uh, second part of the morning session of Saturday. So it's two parts. So we just covered the, the first part. We did that in 20, 21 minutes, so we condensed it greatly. Now we're going to cover the second part. Now the second part of the convention, and if you, if you go back and remember all these conventions Saturday, they want to get you into this meeting this meeting at lunchtime. They want you to sacrifice your pretty much your whole lunch. You're going to wolf down your food really quick. Get into this meeting. Backstage, you're going to feel special. It's an evangelizing meeting, they call it. Give it a sp fancy name now. And they, they've been doing this for decades. Because remember, if you stand back and get outside of this religion, this religion is about pulling in salespeople. They call it evangelizing, going out in the preaching work, but it's really not that. It's really about handing out business cards, getting people to go to jw.org and go to their website, watch their videos. Everything I've seen so far is little kids showing videos on their, on their smartphones, tablets. Everyone seems to have a tablet in this religion now and they're they're preaching using their movies so it's a movie production company studio they're they're accurate in what they're trying to tell the world <clears throat> that's who they are and when russell started this religion it was a printing company they were printing russell's ideas and uh today that's all changed uh they're talking about jesus in a different way than russell talked about jesus they're talking about the Magi in a different way than Russell talked about the Magi. So the religion has made a lot of changes. Okay, we're going to let this guy fly and he's going to try to get us to go to that meeting. For Kingdom Evangelizers equips qualified pioneers to expand their ministry further. Could you attend this school? Before you answer, please give close attention to the following encouragement. Since its inception in 2014, the School for Kingdom Evangelizers has accomplished much good in the worldwide field. This two-month school is designed to train experienced pioneers who are willing to serve wherever they're needed. And while many have eagerly reached out for this opportunity, Others hold back. Why? Some might reason, I'm content where I am. I have a good job that supports my pioneering. I'm needed in the congregation. I could be sent 
anywhere. I hate moving. I'm not smart enough. My circumstances don't allow it. They don't need me. There are plenty of others who can reach out. Plenty, plenty of others. Well, can you relate to any of these feelings? The governing body understands. It's not easy to uproot oneself and venture into the unknown. But before you dismiss applying for SKE, there's a beautiful reason why you should consider it. What is it? To find out, we warmly invite you to come to the SKE meeting during the noon hour tomorrow. We hope you can make it. All who are in a position to expand their ministry are invited to attend. The applicants to the School for Kingdom Evangelizers. The meeting will be held Sunday afternoon at 1245 in the classroom section of the multi-purpose room. The Apostle Peter called Jesus the one to whom all the prophets bear witness. So he'll just go on and talk about this. So this was all about uh, this whole part of the convention, this Saturday uh, part two, Saturday morning part two, is to get you as the audience, to get the audience to go to this meeting. They're trying to, it's a recruitment meeting for pioneers. And it's held, <clears throat> it's held at the back. They give the time. This is all canned presentations now. This is how they, they're doing it all over the world. And, and they were doing it when I was in it in 2012, going to conventions. They were, they were still doing the same thing. So the program's the same. They're just recruiting their salespeople for this big company. And we're going we're gonna to move this forward. They're going to give a bunch of talks here. The following six-part symposium will highlight remarkable ways in which Jesus fulfilled Bible prophecy. Each speaker will introduce the one to follow. Brother Richard Bellamy, a pioneer serving in the Walden congregation, will deliver the first talk entitled, Messianic Prophecy Fulfilled, preceded by a messenger. Brother Bellamy, you have our full attention. So they always gave symposiums. And to Jesus this is a time that I'd always fall asleep, I'd nod off. With these words, we come to understand that- You get a little bit of it, then you wake up for this part. But he must drink no wine or any alcoholic drink at all. And he will be filled with Holy Spirit even from before birth. And he will turn back many of the sons of Israel to Jehovah their God. Also, he will go ahead of him. Oh, John the Baptist. With Elijah's is spirit about. and power to turn back the hearts of fathers to children. And the disobedient ones looks like they say, the use the same angel of righteous ones in order to get ready for Jehovah a prepared people I don't know if it says Jehovah in the Bible they threw that in so according so you know. to the prophecy recorded in Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 and Malachi chapter 4 verse 5 the Messiah would be preceded by a messenger who would be like Elijah and being a forward, John, a this is, everyone kind of knows that. Let's watch another excerpt from the Good News According to Jesus video and then identify two aspects well, of the Looks like they're playing we'll little consider. excerpts from this video they have. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. So this is just you named the angel talking Emmanuel. to Elizabeth. They're throwing little so movies the into Isaiah it. Isaiah foretold that a maiden would give birth to the Messiah and see her question how she could become no, it's admittedly forward. but some reports show By the this success time you rates fall can be as low as five percent this guy's well mary's remarkable pregnancy had you weren't there so then it's like waking up oh, i woke up for the video what's going on and she gave birth to her son the firstborn they just videoized it 
video. We As we did to to, Judea, to David City, gave birth in the town. Her so he's just talking Jerusalem. about her giving birth. Then Rachel to... would weep over her sons because they are no more. Now, since Rachel was the mother of both Joseph and Benjamin, she ran uh, a little bit of messianic. History. Another movie. So you wake up for the movie. And he came and settled in a city named Nazareth in order to fulfill what was spoken through the prophets. He will be called a Nazarene. This had no control Sleep over where time. he was born or where he was raised. It was foretold that the Messiah would be born as we heard in Bethlehem. But do we know him as Jesus the Bethlehemite? No. It was foretold that he would spend some time in Egypt, but do we know him as Jesus the Egyptian? No. So the fact that Jesus is known for Nazareth, of the many places that he lived, is significant, especially since it was such a lowly place. Uh, when we think of rulers being compared to... Okay, let's move on. Jehovah God Another movie. will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule as king over the house of Jacob forever. And there will be no end to his kingdom. She's getting a lot of he stage will save time. his people from their sins. Would occur when would worship to Jehovah be restored? In Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to David's city, which is called Bethlehem. Hmm. Jehovah's angel appeared to Joseph in Thought a dream. Thought we've seen this scene already. Get up, take the young child and his mother, and fuck. Yeah, they keep With replaying the same Victoria. scenes over. So, I met someone, and I'm thinking about pursuing a relationship. I mm. said, wow. Now we're into something different. I Just think we'll all this guy agree. For a bit. He's pretty angry. There are a few things that bring this wide range of emotions than the prospect of a long-lasting relationship. But of all the relationships that a human can have, the most wonderful, the most fulfilling is the one you, dear candidates, are solidifying today. Oh, this is a baptism the baptism talk. That's what this is. Through baptism. Uh -huh. We warmly welcome you. So glad to have you. Okay, we're moving through this pretty good. Of this is baptism relationships. Talk. It could be dating. It could be bosses at a secular work, at school, with a teacher, even law enforcement while driving. Appropriate submission is one of the keys to success. This guy's a little bit clever. But this idea he of is. submission... Very distasteful His eyes bug to a out. lot of people. He's Don't animated. even carry themselves with an are submissive, submissive. to the good news about the cross. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So right there we learn yeah, submission glorifies. He is like Chris Rock. Honors. Yeah, good idea. Good point. Let's do a bit more Chris Rock. See if you can notice. Simplicity. Chris Rock. Simplicity. Learn, if you're going to get baptized, simple life. Don't take overtime. Remember, I was able to. Did you hear that? Don't take overtime. Sixteen years, but most of all, I think <clears throat> it has really helped me to maintain. Uh, they my just give some experiences. Bible. They always do. And this helped me to develop. Nice. Anyways, what do you do in your on. relationship? How do you do it? How do you we do it? We may even go so far as to ask, well, what do you think of this person that I'm interested in? What's the point we're trying to make? We're going to control we your life. We are dignified with making our That's own it. That, when you baptize into this thing, but when we they want to control your life. In life. Getting to know. Are they even baptizing in the, the name of Jesus? And you can die. I don't know. Will we catch it here? I didn't even catch it. They probably maybe do something. I know I tend to skim through it. I promised these guys a short, short video, condensed version, with no music to trigger anybody, because the music triggers people. Millions now come to God and accept his sovereignty, loyalty they vow. 
Jesus gave the command to go forth and loyalty they vowed a what? What? Okay, let's get that. Now the time is rise uh, as we grow and thrive, God's direction to be blessed. Millions now come, accept a sovereignty, loyalty they vow to be, and from his side never stray. That's God. Now what are they saying? Christ now rules from above, urging all to take his side. Meek ones who hear his voice, let God's words show them the way. It's good to see what they're programming into the people. Okay, well that brings an end to, uh, what are we looking at? Declare the good news. Saturday morning. So we covered it, part one, part two, Saturday morning, condensed version. And uh, we brought that down to 35 minutes. So there you go. That's like three hours worth of sitting there at the assembly. Now you know what's in it. <clears throat> you know, if you have to do the highlights at the meeting or something, you could use this talk. And um, it's all condensed there. Everything's there, what the whole thing's about. Okay, well, we'll see you on the next video. It'll be Saturday afternoon, condensed version. So until next time, keep living your life with love. Isn't that what Jesus says? Live your life with love? It's the love your neighbor. You know, that's the, the greatest command, right? Love God. Love yourself. JW Org does not want you to love yourself, but <clears throat> the fact of the matter is you have to have self-love to have it overflow to love others. If you don't love yourself, you can't love others. So JW Org has that a bit wrong, but what do I know? I'm just an apostate. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.